my name is Rodney Hill, and today we're going to talk about upgrading the software in our PowerFocus 6000 from a 2.x version to a 3.x version. There's some concerns we need to look at before we do that, and some planning we need to put in place before we begin the upgrade. So first of all, what's new in the 3.0 software? Why would I want to upgrade? Well, there's a couple of things that are really big in the 3.0 software. We now have support for step sync, which means we can synchronize multiple PowerFocus 6000 tools together. We have support for new tool families and the flexible offering, and that includes tools like our Mechatronic Wrench TA, Mechatronic Wrench S, our BCV and BCPRE, TBPS, SRBHA, and Tensor SB tools. We also have an improved boot time in the controller, so the controller actually boots in about half the amount of time that it did in the 2.x versions. Additional field bus and open protocol signals have been added to the 3.0 software and above, and apply button functionality. So now when you make changes on the controller, they won't be effective until you select the apply button at the bottom of the screen. There's also an undo button if you choose to go back, you can take those changes out. And there's many other features that are, that are new in the 3.x software versions. So checklist, before we do the upgrade, there's a couple things we wanna check. So always a good idea to have a recent export from any system that you will upgrade, just in case things go wrong, you need to go back to the old version, and for some reason everything's gone, you have a backup and you can, you can do that if you need to. For moving any licenses or features from the portal to the controller, you'll need either Tools Talk 2, one of the server versions. We have a free version called the Line Licenser that can be used for this. However, it needs to be connected to the controller all the time. You can't just connect, install a license and disconnect. It must remain connected all the time. Or you can do it with the FMS Portable, which is a USB device that you can use to move the licenses to the controller. And we have some other videos on how to do that. Um, you'll also need a USB device or a PC connected to the controller that has the new software version that you load into the PowerFocus 6000. Prior to doing the upgrade, you need to confirm that all of the FMS features that you've put on with the 2.x software, if you've put any onto the controller, are removed. And once we do the upgrade, we'll put those features back into the controller. Um, there are certain licenses that are not upgradable to the 3.0 software. That includes the virtual station license. The general virtual station license is not applicable to the 3.0 X uh, version of software, and Gradient. In the 3.x software, Gradient is included in the process virtual station type, so there is no separate license for Gradient. Other things to consider, certain IMs are not upgradable to the 3.0 software or 3.x software. We have the IAM line control, IAM multi-control, and any IAM critical controls uh, are not upgradable to the 3.0 software. If you have one of those types of IEMs, they have been obsoleted, please contact your Atlas Copco representative. Other IEMs, um, all of the process control-based IEMs are upgradable to the 3.x software. We have about 20 different types of those, but basically if it has process or process plus in the name, it is upgradable. When you upgrade to the 3.0 software, it will inherit the functionality of an IAM Power Focus, which is our new IAM going forward for the 3.x software. The IAM Power Focus is configurable however you like. When you upgrade from a process or a process plus type of IAM, it will become an IAM Power Focus and it will have no licenses on the IAM. So it's very important that before you do the upgrade, you coordinate with your Atlas Copco representative and make sure that Atlas Copco is able to provide you equivalent licenses for what you'd purchased on the, on the 2.x IM. After we do the upgrade, so we've done all these things, we've removed our licenses, we've put the new software on the controller, we've loaded it. Um, post upgrade, there are a few things we also wanna check as well. If you removed any licenses, remember to put those back onto the controller. Um, you need to verify PSETs, batch sequence, and all these things are upgraded properly. They should upgrade normally, but this is a pretty major software update, so we always recommend checking these things or doing some sort of validation to make sure things are working the way that you expect. And then you'll need to assign virtual station type licenses to the virtual station that you'll be using. This is new in 3.0, so inside of each virtual station, you need to select what type of virtual station license that virtual station has. And then make sure that your task is selected properly. If you're using some sort of external control to select your programs, enable, disable tools, um, you'll need to make sure that's selected properly for you. So there you have it. We've covered how to upgrade from the 2.x software to the 3.x software. If you have any questions, please contact your Atlas Copco representative. Thank you very much.